It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. It's day number 24. The last day of the Brewers Advent Calendar. We started with beer number one over here. We're ending with number beer 24. Right in the middle of the beautiful building that was once on this. There it is. That's what it looked like to begin with, this box. Beautiful picture there at Christmas. And now it looks like it's been attacked by wolves. <laughs> Look at that. But yeah, I think it's quite ironic that they left the last beer, the one beer, right in the middle of that beautiful German building there on this, that scene. Ooh, where's the, oh, it's down here. So the last beer, then let's pull it out. That now becomes recycling. I suppose, in a way, I'm a little bit sad that this has ended. It's been a really exciting, really different process. A process which I didn't know what I was quite getting myself into. Because, I mean, I, I didn't know what glasses I would have needed because I, I didn't know what style of beer that I was going to need. Um, we've had a number of Pilsners, we've had a number of Helles Lagers, we've had a, a, a few different kind of German speciality beers, um, dark, like Dunkel, like Weiss beers and Imperial Pilsners, um, Vienna Lagers, smoked beers, we had some German smoked beers as well. And this is it! Oh, what a beer to finish. What a beer to finish. I'm just reading. It's just processing this in my mind at ten past nine on a cold, wet Monday morning. Kat. Katuza. Katuza. Doppelbock Dunkel. Doppelbock Dunkel. Bavarian beer. That means it's going to be strong. How strong is it? 7.5% ABV. Dunkel means dark. Doppelbock is generally, no, hold on. No, yes, Dunkel means dark, Doppelbock, Doppel is double and Bock is strong. So, double strong dark beer. Double strong dark beer, if I was to translate it straight into English for you. Exciting. Let's get this double strong dark beer into a glass and see what we get. 7.5% ABV. Oh, look at this. Look at this. 1%. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Look at this. I hope the postman don't knock at ten past nine in the morning with this double strong. <laughs> oh, 7.5% ABV beer. Um, funny enough, very quickly, uh, I know I'm kind of like skirting around the edges a little bit here, but um, I was on Instagram yesterday and Jeremy Clarkson, that um, Hawkstone Lager we reviewed a few weeks ago, he's been doing a few like sketches, a few sketches, sketches, whatever you want to call them, about his band Hawkstone Lager adverts and uh, he did one yesterday um, I was watching it on the toilet actually uh, don't tell no one um, he did a video yesterday where, why is this video banned and and he just so happened to mention that um, he was having a beer for breakfast and he was saying waving goodbye to his wife saying I'll see I'll see you at six o'clock in the evening and I thought to myself why I mean why would it be banned? Why, why should that be banned? I mean, it probably would be banned because on the grounds of... I don't know, is it law what time you drink beer? Is there a law in place as to what time you're allowed to drink beer? Personally, I find my palate, while I'm tasting beer and reviewing beer, to be absolutely on fire first thing in the morning. If you ask me to review a beer on YouTube at 10 o'clock in the night when it's almost ready for my bedtime, then I'm going to be useless, absolutely useless. Anyway, two finger, 
white head on this one. Good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. It's a relatively clear looking dark brown coloured ale. Looks an oaky colour. Mahogany coloured beer. Very pretty looking beer with the carbonation and the colour. Let's get the aroma. Nutty, biscuity and bready. A little bit of a kind of a fruity hop aroma coming through. It smells good. It smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, what a beer to finish. Oh, oh, oh. What a beer to finish this Brewer's Advent Calendar. Hold on, let's strike a pose. Oh. That is absolutely delightful. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. That is an absolutely delightful beer to have oh in that box to finish now i promised you in the last two beers beer number 22 and beer number 23 that i would talk to you on beer number 24 the last day is this box worth it this beer i was 99 percent sure anyway you've only got to watch advent calendar number 23 to to know that I was absolutely more or less 99% sure. But just to finish off, just to finish off on a 7.5% ABV, Doppelbock Dunkel that tastes as delicious as this, then yes, absolutely. This, this whole box has been an absolute pleasure. An absolute pleasure, it really has. Um, one of my finds, one of my best buys, for the whole channel of 2021 has been this advent calendar from Costco. Picked it up in Costco in Cardiff. Wonderful purchase. Really pleased I've, I've bought it. This is full of nutty, biscuity, brown bread flavours. Fantastic speciality malts that have been used in this beer to create something of a brown bread wonder. One of those, you know, when you've got a bit of spare change in your pocket, you 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 you, you indulge in a, in a in a fantastic loaf of bread, you know, with with nuts and you know that good quality brown bread that you don't buy all the time because it's too expensive, but you buy it when you've got some fantastic bacon or you know when you want to have the the greatest bacon sandwich in the world you buy yourself a really good loaf of bread and that loaf of bread is full of nuttiness and biscuitiness and bread of course breadiness being bread but when brewers want to brew a really good beer they do that very same thing they they, they get all good quality different selections of different malts darker malts and they produce great beers like this great beers like this Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Oh, it's bready and biscuity and lovely. And even on the back end, you're picking up the hops, which are slightly kind of dark berry, like a, a slight plum and a fig and a prune coming through. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Wow. <sighs> It's really sad, really, because uh, there's not been one moment. I, I, I was slightly worried about this box that I might get halfway through doing the calendar and I might get a little bored by it. And that's just my my honesty with you guys, how I might how my character might have kind of become slightly bored of this box. But do you know what? Every single beer has been really interesting they've all been really interesting they've all been really good and it's been an absolute pleasure i'm sad 
I'm sad that I've hit the end. I'm sad that I've hit the end of this box. But I'm not sad that, you know, next year if I go to Costco and I see it, I'm going to buy Blooming 2. I'm going to buy two of these calendars next year. And I'm going to have two beers a night because I know this calendar is really good. It's really tasty. There's been some really good tasty beers in this box. Right. Private Brewery Eggera. Again, another Private Brewery Eggera beer. Uh, water, barley, malt, hops, and of course yeast. 7.5% ABV. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm going to rate it. Cartosa Doppelbock Dunkel Bavarian beer. Absolutely love this. To finish off, I'm going to give this a Stone the Crows. How fitting. 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.